Back there, Kanai Benoit gets the start. He is beside Herbert in the backfield. Quick pass immediately and completed out to Dylan Mitchell, and Mitchell's going to get five. And this is a perimeter 20, 20 to 30 times this week in talking to us. They know that they've got to protect the edges. Fly sweep, one of the fastest guys, a young player. Jay will have to respect it, and when you do that, it opens up the inside run game. There is the inside run game, and nothing doing in there for Benoit. I don't think Benoit got back to this defensive line. They're undersized. It's going to be a battle for them when they go up against a bigger offensive line. Zone. And now Oregon, who has more penalty yards than total yards of offense, goes back to work. Herbert going to try to get the arm loose. Finds a little running room up the middle. Justin slips through one. Chris Freeman coming up to him saying, it is about time. What did I tell you? <laughs> Herbert. Fires complete, first down for the... A couple conversions and then the tempo. When Oregon's going, they've got their tempo going. And that, that the first couple... Barely had the really big target. A lot of speedy, shifty guys at receiver. Certainly guys can run, including that guy wow. in the backfield. And Tony Brooks-James didn't hold on to it. The ball's loose. Let's see if they're going to... ...it to be a catch and it could be considered a fumble. They can always review it. And there's Vanderish. Again, that big middle linebacker all in space against the quickest. Uh, we will. We'll have a look. Vanderish is right on him. It looked like a catch. He held on to it, and another forced turnover. A Boise is in. And you got a guy that's healthy that's not playing in a bowl game that tries to get his team fired up. I mean, I, if I were a senior, I'd probably say, hey, man, we love you. But Set with Taggart for the way it was handled, and they wanted Cristobal, but... They haven't exactly come out in another football on the ground, and Boise's all over it if they can corral it. Jim, where defense is down with their tempo. Duck offense hasn't had much going its way, so they go straight ahead with ball. That, that can be really effective if you're patient. Back to Benoit. He's greeted by Van times this season, and he's well on his way to that, it would appear today. Herbert reloads a little... Tunnel screen for Dylan Mitchell and Mitchell getting off of that corner to make that throw. Low snap. Oh. And he gets it to Benoit. That could have been disastrous. Brooks James in the backfield with Herbert. Herbert going to throw for it and it's incomplete. It goes through the. Now, I know Royce Freeman's not in there, but Oregon, if they're going to win today, they've got to be able to be patient and run the ball. And try to that. run it with Tony Brooks James. I mean, Blue is just. As a, as a new coach, here's another good look at Vanderish there, how quickly he is able to identify and make his reads to be able to. God, well, you're down 17. Why don't you fight for your guy here? Mario may be ready to sign a petition to get him to play better. That throw is too high from Herbert. At bases just over a week ago. Third down and eight for Cristobal's team. Herbert had to get rid of it, and he did quickly. Woke up in a cold sweat the next morning, said he couldn't leave football. And he has his first pictures to see how his team responds to this adversity. Herbert he suffered a broken collarbone. Oregon fans hoping that the Cristobal era will turn out quite that well. It's quite too early to say. Into the middle, and it's picked off. Intercepted. Applicable tragedy. It was great to see Riley walking. That was the first time publicly she had been able to. There is some historical words of hope. They give it on fly sweep here, Herbie. <laughs> hasn't, hasn't gone well here in the first half. Boise well, State has been really impressive. It, I mean, that's the Boise State has defended. Andy Avalos, the defensive coordinator for Boise State. Had a spectacular first half Herbert there is another watch how he's able to get in and go over top of the back who steps up the back does a nice job of stepping up right there submarines him but instead of him just accepting that and using his hands look at the athletic ability up and over him and it comes up with a sack what the Oregon run game led by Vanderbilt and Vander Esch in the middle of this and just could not have played any better Herbert out to Tony Brooks James. James has the great speed. Not cross the 50-yard line in the first half. Back to the ground. Knocked down the running game. Backfield down, hit for a loss. Vander football. And when you when you when you're not able to control the line of scrimmage and you're letting the linebacker, who's a great player, Vanderish. Six yards away from the hallelujah land. 
And now maybe seven or eight. Your stretched hand. Five receivers and... Trying to go Brooks James with the speed stuff. And there is Brooks James. Shoulder bump, but you throw the ball. Everybody is there to see it, especially the officials. Herbert pressured, tackled, fourth. I and mean, keep him clean. Eight of his nine tackles have been the solo variety, a category in which he ranks in the top five in the country. Darian Felix, a freshman. Boise State will shoot those gaps. So instead, of, yeah, instead yeah. of running, they decided to get him. Who wasn't even involved. And neither one of those were called, by the way. The game started to get away from them. They started to throw. But they have get, gotten whipped up front. A tackle in the open field. Uh, goes Molly for home. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk to our bosses about a little pay raise for that, guys. <laughs> Justin Herbert slingshots out to the edge and scampers out close to the, the clock as well. Wise sweep. Here's the freshman Herbert a chance. Herbert looking. Firing to the outside. Mitchell has it. He shakes off one guy. Or he's Mitchell and Cedric Wilson from the same high school. White Station in Memphis, Tennessee. As Benoit gets inside the 35. I think it's important. Herbert. Throw. Oh, and dropped. Had the hard. This has been a problem. Earlier today, again, they'll roll Herbert. He's in trouble. He gets away. Can he get to the stick? He does, but barely. He got to him, and he thought, wow, you're big. 6'6", 225. Herbert to the end zone again. Touchdown. Haven't had a great offensive day. Fewest yards since Chip Kelly's first game. A loss on the blue to Boise State. But now Justin Herbert trying to rally his team. Tony Brooks James, a speedster, is into Boise territory, and he has a first down down and lets him do his magic after the catch. Herbert slings it to the outside. It's caught by Mitchell. It's been the entire game. Herbert firing for Mitchell toward the end zone. There was some time. Times is the guy who can get in after the quarterback. They're showing pressure and here come guys. They pick it up for a moment, but then they move him inside in a little stunt move. Lyman, he gets right through them. See, we talk about him losing weight and getting quick. But the real start of the crystal ball era will be in the offseason, how that work goes and how the Ducks respond, what types of changes might be made as a result of this. Herbert throwing it deep, and Mitchell makes the catch. It looked back like he was looking for somebody to... Pick up of 67. Herbert, back shoulder. And I think if they had seen that one, they would have called it back, just to be candid about it. Charles Nelson going to the end. And from getting outflanked and into the end zone. Herbert steps away from pressure, throws to the back of the end zone. And this time he... They, they haven't gone away. They, they keep competing. Herbert firing to the end zone. And this time 